Today we'll be solving one-step equations, and in this one-step equation we will notice that our coefficient is a fraction. The coefficient is that number that's in front of the letter. The letter is also known in math as the variable. So when I go ahead and multiply using the multiplication property of equality, which means whatever I do on the left side, I am going to make this equation equal, I'm going to do the same on the right side. So when we have 3 over 5, when we have 3 over 5, that means that we are going to multiply it by its reciprocal of 5 over 3. Now, because I do it on the left side, I'm going to have to multiply by 5 over 3 on the right side. Now, this 6 is a whole number, and it, to make it equivalent as a fraction, I'm going to make that 6 over 1. So now that I can either do one of two things, I can multiply across 15 over, I mean, 5 times 3 is 15, and 3 times 5 is 15. So 15 over 15 is equal to 1. Therefore, I'll have 1w, and I would have my variable by itself. But another way I can do it is by cross-multiplying or cross-canceling. And in cross-canceling, I'm going to go ahead and say the 5 goes into the 5 one time, and the 3 will go into the 3 one time because they're factors of each other. They're the same number. So through the identity property, they are the same. Therefore, 1 times 1 and 1 times 1 gives me 1 over 1, so that gives me w by itself. Now, 6 times 5 on the right-hand side will equal 30. And 1 times 3 in the denominator would be 3. Now, if I simplified 30, how many times does 3 go into 30? And the answer is 10 times. So my correct answer is w equals 10. Let's go ahead and give that another shot. Another try with another sample problem. Here we go. Have something hidden right here for you. So our next one is 7 eighths t equals 14. Now, when I get rid of this fraction, I'm going to multiply it by its reciprocal, which is going to be 8 over 7. And what I do on the Right side, I'm going to multiply 14 by 8 over 7. Yes, and you're right. I'm going to go ahead and put the 14 over 1 because I'm going to create this whole number into a fraction. Now, as we look at the 8 over 7 multiplied by 7 over 8, it is going to cancel each out. So 1 times 1 is going to bring the t, my variable, all by itself. And now I can go 14 times 8. And that's going to be a big number divided by 1 times 7. So I know that 1 times 7 um, would be easy, but I really want to look and see if I can do any canceling, and which I can. So the 7 goes into itself once, and the 7, because it's multiples of 14, it goes into it two times. So now I could easily say 2 times 8 is 16 over 1 times 1 is 1. So my final answer, t, is going to equal 16. So just remember, when we have fractions in our equations, not to necessarily freak out. We remember that we'll take that fraction and take its reciprocal, and which the, when I take the reciprocal or multiply the reciprocal by the original fraction, it will come out to being 1. And so I'll have 1t and I'll have my variable by itself, and then I'll be able to find my answer.